guys welcome back to another episode of a love island the game season four bombshell if you're new here my name is leia and welcome to my channel don't forget to like comment and subscribe 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 join the fam we're almost at that 300 mark let come on let's get to that 300 mark we we got this I believe in you guys all the views I see you guys like it, it, it takes but a second to hit the subscribe it takes but a second to like the video because clearly you guys are liking the video so if you can just please help me out I'm trying to I know it's gonna happen thanks to you guys but you know just, just subscribe you know I'm, I'm gonna give you guys a little minute a little minute to just subscribe like this video previously on episode 37 we had that challenge and we got two new islanders we got oliver and dylan towards the end of it found out that i was going on a date with both of them you know i don't really want to but it's not like i had a choice the public chose let's just jump right on into it love island the game season four bombshell episode 38 let's go all right episode 38 me tarzan you date you head to the treetops for a pair of thrilling dates with two dashing boys Welcome back to Love Island. Last time, we welcomed two new arrivals to the villa. I like cats and tats. And both wanted a slice of crystal. That Oliver is a deep dish. His eyes are so dreamy. Like mozzarella clouds. I'm sorry, Yusef. I still adore you. Anyway, how will crystal handle the dates tonight? I'm sure we can find a way to get sweaty together. Let's find out. Dylan waits on the path, leaning on a large tree. He grins excitedly. Hey, hey, happy you made it gorgeous. Thought I'd have to come in and sweep you off your feet. White horse and all. Dylan winks at you. Why a white horse? Prince Charming always has a white horse. Dylan considers himself a Prince Charming. I must say that's cheesy. Dylan rests a hand on his chest and mock her. A little mozzarella never hurt anybody. In this particular case, I am lactose intolerant. He stares at you blankly. Ready to start the tree walk? Eager, aren't we? He winks. I like it. Let's go. You start to walk along the elevated path, turning your head to admire the lush foliage. Trees are scattered all around. Flowers pour from various branches and you take a moment to lean on the railing. You look down. Scared of heights? Don't worry, I've got you. Dylan's asking if I'm afraid of heights. Nah, not really. It's just gravity, nothing scary. Besides, I have the higher ground. You grin at Dylan. You know it. Dylan starts to flex. These muscles are not just for show. Oh yeah, what are they there for? He gives you a cheeky wink. They can do a lot more than flex, I'll tell you that. Dylan turns to look at his muscular arms. My muscle, my muscle gains are only to protect those who need protecting. And I want to protect you, Crystal. Dylan wants to protect me. What do I need protecting from? Dylan's gaze is tender when he looks at you. Crystal, I'll tell you further along the date, okay? Now is not the right time. Um, okay. A small silence passes and Dylan starts brushing the branches from your path. You decide to break the silence with some small talk. So, what do you do for fun on your time off? I'm a gym rat. I'm there nearly always on my time off. 
What about you, Crystal? Do you enjoy the gym? Do I go to the gym when I have time? Your job keeps you busy? It does. That's surprising. I thought it would be quite chill. Artists tend not to have a steady income. A bit of an unstable job, no? Uh, no. Artists are capable of having busy routines too. Lighten up, I was just joking. Dylan continues to flex his muscles. The gym is my second home. When you're a pro volleyball player, you have to have a pro baby. No, I did not just say pro baby. I mean pro body. <laughs> he turns to you with a smirk. I can always help you out with physical fitness if you want. Dylan wants to work out with me. Yeah, no. I hope you're not expecting the Juma to help you. The Juma already has her hands full. What do you mean by that? Nothing. Uh, okay. We should keep walking. I think there's a fantastic view at the top. A view better than you, Crystal? I don't believe it. Well, let's get going. You begin your walk along the pathway, admiring all the greenery. Dylan brushes a few branches away from his face. I've been thinking. I've already seen a lot about you, but you've not seen much of me. You should ask me a question, Crystal. Get to know me. After all, once you've been on a date with me, you don't need to go on another one. What question should I ask Dylan? How did your last relationship end? Dylan grins cheekily. She couldn't keep up with me. What do you mean? Well, I have a lot of stamina and energy. Are you inferring what I think you are? Yup. He winks cheekily at you. She also just got too clingy, texting me, calling me, wanting me to come over all the time. I guess once you have a taste of Dylan, you can't get enough. As you venture further up the inclined walkway, tree branches begin to obstruct your view. Dylan barges his way in front of you and pushes the branches back. Your prince will do this for you. He attempts to hold back one branch only for it to flip back in his face. What was the prince saying? Don't be too sensitive now. You know I was only messing with you. Dylan's been making these odd comments for a while now. I should say something. Dylan keeps giving me backhanded compliments. I'm gonna put my foot down. How? Giving me backhanded compliments is not okay. When you pair your comment with something indirect, like telling me my arms are too delicate or how I might not work out in the gym, you can really make someone feel insecure and that is not on. Just give a compliment without any bite to it. Otherwise, you can be a real jerk. Wow. Dylan sighs and turns away from you, leaning his elbows on the railing. Sorry, I, I hope I didn't blow it. The truth is that I'm really nervous because it's you, Crystal. I've had countless flings and bad relationships, but this is the first time I've met someone and worried about how to act, what to say, what to do. Crystal, I'm well into you. You make my heart do flips, you know? Dylan's only acting like this because he likes me. That's not an excuse. That's no excuse, Dylan. Bad behavior is just bad behavior. You're right. It's just, I've been watching you for a while on telly and I know you're right for me. I can see us really winning this thing and being together for the long haul. You really are the only girl on my mind. Dylan rubs the back of his neck looking down. It probably doesn't help that I'm nervous about telling you something. I really don't know how to say it. It's been racing in my head since I came in here. Dylan's not telling me something. What are you hiding? He sighs. I'm only hiding it to protect you. I don't like to see you get hurt, Crystal. Dylan, I'm a big girl. I can handle my feelings. Dylan chews on his bottom lip, turning to look at you. One advantage about coming in late is that I got to see some things on the telly. 
and I got to see Najuma and Valentina getting very cozy. Sharing secret jokes, longing looks, face touching, all behind your back. Dylan saying that Najuma and Valentina are acting like more than friends. I'm not fussed by it. I know you might not pick up on it. They're spending a lot of time together when Najuma isn't with you. Dylan hangs his head in his hands. I think they might have kissed. Didn't see it though. Hope. Didn't see it though. Hopped on a plane before it happened. It's just you can't be that cozy with someone and not have a spark with them. And the way they gaze at each other. Dylan thinks Najuma and Valentina have something going on. I'm gonna deny it. Najuma would never do that to me. We're strong. I've got no reason to lie to you, honest. I'm just really worried about you. They are pieing you off, Crystal. It's not right to treat someone like that, especially not someone as beautiful as you. Dylan takes a step towards you, his eyes full of worry. Crystal. Dylan gently tips your chin up. I'm not going to play you like Najuma. I'm interested in you and only you. Nobody else matters. Dylan's really laying it on thick. <laughs> I'm gonna offer him a breath mint. I think I have one. Might do you some good. Uh, Dylan quickly covers his mouth, breathing into it. He clears his throat and takes a step back. I'll head back to the villa now. Think about what I said, yeah? Will do. Dylan gives you one last longing look before walking away. Dylan's words keep playing in my mind. Is Najuma really flirting with Valentina? Are they really messing me about? Is Dylan messing me about? Do I really think they kissed behind my back? I should ask Najuma directly. It's useless making myself upset about this. I'll speak to Najuma myself. Oliver's quick footsteps disturb your train of thought. He's out of breath and holding something behind his back. Hey. Hey, Oliver. Did you jog all the way up here? That's impressive. I passed Dylan singing really loudly. Scary. You both laugh. Before I forget, here. He holds out a little flower out to you. I was always told to never visit someone empty-handed. Oliver got me a flower. How sweet. Oh, Oliver. It's really pretty, right? Just like you. Aw. Um, just don't eat it, yeah? I feel like you're talking from experience. That obvious, huh? I once ate a bouquet of flowers thinking they were edible. A bouquet? Was it at a wedding? No, no. It was for my mom. I get her flowers every weekend. She told me they were edible. That was a lie. You both laugh. Oliver smiles fondly. It's really beautiful, isn't it? Being surrounded by so much nature is my ultimate dream. You could wake up to birds chirping, a light breeze, flowers growing. I love it. Do you like nature too, Crystal? How do I feel about nature? I love it. Ultimate dream too. I once wanted to sleep in the rain. Not realistic. I'll bring an umbrella. How about that? Oh, I love a good compromise. Oliver smiles shyly at you. I really want to know more about you, Crystal. But I know the whole questions and answers thing during first dates is a bit tired. That's why I think we should do introductions like those Lonely Hearts columns. Would you be up for that? Do I want to break the ice with Oliver? I'm down. I'll go first. Oliver clears his throat, pulling away from the railing so he can face you with a smile. A 26-year-old tattoo artist from Cornwall is looking for a girlfriend. He likes succulents, dancing, scuba diving, and honesty. Very close to his family, especially his grandmother. May have been adopted by several cats in his neighborhood. Oliver laughs shyly, rubbing the back of his neck. Your turn. How do I see my current relationship status? I mean, I am like doing okay with Najuma, I guess. I don't know. I don't even, it, 
it's not much like romance going on in these episodes. I'm gonna say I'm keeping my options open. Oliver's smile widens before he looks away bashfully. And my view on animals is that they, they are the best. Oliver gives you a thumbs up. And in my downtime, I, what do I do in my downtime? I read books. Me too. I'm long sighted though, so I wear glasses before bed. Aw, what books do you read? Gender and anatomy, study in portraits, color, and its meaning, traditional art books. What about you? What genre of books do I read the most? I'm gonna say romance. I like feeling warm and fuzzy before sleeping. Uh, I can understand that. I'm currently reading a book my grandma sent. It's about the history of Malaysian body art. She really supports my career. Even jokes about coming down to London so I can give her a tattoo. Even at 70, she's power walking around the park. She's got more energy than me. I think it's really sweet how she supports you. Yeah, I love my grandma. Dandelion too. Dandelion does too. Dandelion is... Who is Dandelion again? Your cat? Oliver's smile brightens as he looks at you. Thank you for remembering, Crystal. Pro memory over here. Dandelion really dislikes everyone but me, my parents, and my grandma. She still hisses at the postman. I'm sure she'll get over it. It's been four years. Okay, maybe not. He laughs sheepishly, turning his head to show you the dandelion flower tattooed behind his ear. You got that for her? Yeah, she serves as my reminder of home. It can get pretty lonely living by myself, but I'm glad I have her with me. Oliver gets lonely living by himself. I do too. Sometimes you just want another person about, you know? I'm really glad you understand, Crystal. He smiles at you. Thanks for going on this date with me, Crystal. Even if I didn't have much choice? Oliver chuckles softly. I know first dates can be awkward, especially as a late entry. Friendships are built, relationships are established, hearts are already set. I don't want to disrupt that, especially not for you. I understand by coming in here, I might have to break someone up, but I'm not trying to ruin relationships. Going with the flow is the way I live my life and my relationships too. Oliver goes with the flow. Me too. Glad you get it. Oliver turns his head to smile at you. I really think you're great, Crystal. I'm sorry if I'm being forward, but I want you to know that I enjoyed our time together. Oliver's happy about our date. How should I thank him? I'm gonna thank him. Thank you, Oliver. It's okay. I believe in the power of compliments. Just one smile makes me feel I got the job done. And what's the job? Making people smile. Or in this instance, making you smile. Oliver. He smiles shyly, dipping his head down. I'll head back to the villa now, unless you want to walk back together. Do I want to walk back to the villa with Oliver? Sure, let's go. His face lights up, though he quickly looks down to hide his excitement. Thanks. Company is better than none. That's true. You both start to walk down the pathway. There's quite a lot of branches in this area. Do you want me to push them back or are you okay? Oliver's asking if he can help me push the branches. I'm okay. You push the branches away from your face and Oliver makes his way beside you. Okay, be careful. You begin pushing the branches out of your way and start walking back to the villa. You see Dylan fixing his hair in the reflection of the door. He sees you walking up and turns around. Hey, hey, what are you doing out here? Dylan's smile brightens. I was feeling lonely without you. Oliver stifles a laugh. Dylan looks at Oliver puffing up his chest. I've got it from here, mate. Oliver turns to look at you. 
I'll be by the pool. Thanks for walking back with me. You're great company. Oliver thinks I'm great company. You are too. Oliver smiles shyly. Thanks, Crystal. He smiles at you and makes his way inside the villa. Sheesh, thought he'd never leave. I was over here missing you. You missed me? Dylan's gaze softens, his smile growing larger. How could I not? You're literally perfect. Plus, those legs of yours keep running through my mind. Dylan can't get me off his mind. Ugh, gross. You'll appreciate the Dylan. I just know it. As you walk into the living room, you notice Najuma and Valentina sitting on the couch. She's gripping Najuma's jaw firmly, looking at her left to right. Yup, I can defo see it. Dylan frowns, leaning in to whisper in your ear. Crystal, are you okay? I can't believe they're doing this in front of you. It's not right. Valentina and Najuma are really close on the couch. How do I feel about Valentina and Najuma's closeness? It's fine. I'm sure it's innocent. I trust Najuma. Dylan sighs loudly. It catches the attention of Najuma and Valentina. Hey, I didn't hear you come back. Didn't want to disturb how cozy you looked. I was just giving Najuma some makeup tips. Sure you were. Dylan turns to look at you, smiling sweetly. I'll be on the day beds if you need me. And don't forget what I said, yeah? Dylan gives you one last look before slipping away. Najuma and Valentina are deep in conversation. They start laughing loudly. That's hilarious, Valentina. It's like they forgot I'm here. How should I let Najuma know I'm here? I'ma sit beside her. Najuma drops an arm around your shoulder. Nice to have you back. Yeah, what were you guys laughing about? It's one of those jokes where you had to be there. Good thing I'm here. It's boring, don't worry about it. How was your date? I saw Dylan walk in with you. Najuma bites her bottom lip nervously. I thought he was your first date. Valentina and Najuma are asking if I spent more time with Dylan. He was just waiting outside. Valentina purses her lips. Looks like Dylan is really keen on you. His presence is louder than he is. Actually, no, both are pretty loud. Angie gets super irritated every time he breathes near her. It's so funny seeing her face like that. Oh, yup, it makes me laugh. They really do enjoy each other's company. The Juma leans forward. So, how did your dates go? You're a very popular girl, Crystal. Well, Oliver, how did my date Oliver go? He's more of a friend. Najuma's smile grows, squeezing your arm gently. His tattoos are nice. I wouldn't mind him inking me up. And Dylan, how did that date go? What was my date with Dylan like? It was eye-opening. What do you mean by that? I'm curious too. Before you can answer, Tiffany barges in with a smile on her face. Cora, Dylan, and Oliver follow behind her. I got a text! I got a text! What does it say? Islanders, you are all invited to a party tonight to get to know one another. Hashtag mingle single. Hashtag dance the night away. It's obviously being thrown to celebrate the Dylan. Yeah, no. I think it's just a party. I'm really excited for this. Hey, Valentina, can you help me with that thing we were talking about earlier? Oh, that'll look great on you. Valentina and Ajuma scurry off to the dressing room. Dylan shoots you a concerned look. I guess Valentina and Ajuma have got rather close. But do I really think something happened between them? I'm not sure anymore. Cora watches you with a concerned look on her face. Hey, you wanna go get ready? That would be nice, yeah. Might be a good opportunity to get out of my head for a bit. You know I'm here if you wanna talk, right? I know, I know, I think I just need a breather. 
I'm sure the party will be great for that. Great indeed, Cora. Do you think Valentina could lend me that mascara? I want my eyes to pop. Coming up on Love Island. Look, I think we should spend the night apart and things get a little messy. I'd be honored to squirt you, Kristen. See you then. Hey guys, editing Leia here. So I realized that I did not film an outro to this video. <laughs> um, the screen recording didn't save so I got distracted with that and completely forgot to even film an outro. So that was Love Island The Game, season four, Bombshell, episode 38. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Join the fam. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later.